in two minutes and i've got someone off screen keeping me honest here just going to run you through the device uh, vulnerabilities dashboard within robo shadow but also how we go ahead and start that uh, from an installation perspective you go into the agent download section you click on copy to get the organization id and then you effectively uh, download the agent it will ask for the organization id as part of the install and we even have facilities for people using rmm tools that want to do things on mass fire automation a thing using things like intune also as well so once the agents are out there the read-only version of the agent is completely free of charge you will be greeted with this dashboard which is fairly intuitive it's going to show you what's your worst application what's the worst vulnerability uh, and what's the worst server on the worst workstation just to get those sort of creative juices flowing from a vulnerability perspective you can even see here when you click on device uh, the user that's connected to that device or that was the last logged on to that device so you can run a competition potentially for who's got uh, the worst device in the organization um, but just flicking back here um, as we look more around the data we've tried to simplify uh, the way that you interact with the data so quite a lot of the time on penetration tests you just see reams and reams and reams of vulnerabilities whereas all we really want to show you is that you have a vulnerability uh, it is critical they're the one it's the one that you should be getting to fairly quickly and you need to remediate that by either updating it or rem uh, removing it completely so we try and show you the worst app in the organization the one that's the most critical or the worst app across the organization and what we mean by that you could have a slight slightly less critical application that's installed everywhere and that's you know potentially going to be a big bang for your buck in terms of working out what patching uh, exercises you're going to run through so very quickly i will just show you um cyber hill here it's uh, seen a grouped application so we're just going to run group those within cyber hill there is a an additional premium license um it will give you the capability to either update via update sorry by the wing get repository update via your own xe or msi file or completely remove that application especially for wireshark that's quite a common one uh, uh that we quite often don't need that and we can completely remove that so uh just being indicated we're up, up for time now hopefully that will give you uh, a good overview of the vulnerabilities dashboard within robo shadow